So it's no surprise that nutrition is very important for footballers and all athletes alike. With that said, even if you have the best training program in the world, if you are under eating or overeating, you are not maximizing your potential to get those gains. So that's what we're gonna be going over today, guys. Specifically, we're gonna dive into body fat percentages, common nutritional mistakes, what footballers need to perform at their best, and meal plans. You guys know that I wanted to release these this last Monday, but I had an accident. I'm good, minor injuries, but I'm ready to go. I partnered up with one of the best dietitians I know that works with professional athletes. I do have subtitles available in multiple languages right here in the captions on YouTube. Si lo quieres leer en español, también lo tengo para ustedes, para mi gente. So guys, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Yeah, top of the morning, I know that you thought I was dormant. Woke up early from south, I was swarming a black and all right guys, so first things first, let's talk about body fat and if it hinders performance. I've talked about this in another video, but let's dive into it again. So does excess fat hinder performance? This is what we know. Excess fat, so fat mass, loads the player with useless weight, which leads to wasting more energy during a match and impairs power and acceleration performance. So fat mass is inversely related to aerobic capacity and relative power, meaning more fat mass equals lower efficiency and performance. Just think of it like you're carrying a weight vest, right? Now I am gonna be going over body fat percentages and what your typical professional footballer is usually at for females and uh, males as well. So stay tuned for that. So for footballer body composition, there's no clear cut answer, but we do know that low levels of fat mass and high lean muscle are correlated with better sprinting speeds, change of directional speeds, agility, so your ability to perform better. And here's the study right here, guys, if you wanna check that out. Lower body fat increases force relative to body weight. Now, fat has its functions needed for a footballer, but let's say that a male forward who is 20% body fat, how much of that body fat is useful and how much of it is just a weight vest that he's carrying around, okay? So just really think of it like that. There is a certain body fat and everybody's gonna be a little bit differently. So I can't say, hey, you need to be at a 50% body fat, but we do know the range which a meta-analysis went over and the average seems to be between 10 to 12% for males. And it was found that the higher level athlete, the lower level body fat. Also note that there will be players on both sides of the spectrum, which some may be 6%, like maybe your Cristiano Ronaldo's, and some at that 15%, which is more than likely gonna be goalkeepers. Only you can really know where you perform at your best by trial and error. But the important thing is if you are between the 10, 11, 12% body fat range, you're doing okay. Now here is the data, the comparison of body fat percentages for male soccer players of different competitive levels, playing positions and age groups. So guys, I'm gonna just leave this right here. I'm also gonna leave the link for the study if you wanna look at that. But again, the average is between 10 to 12%. Now for my female players, a lot of studies I looked at had pretty wide range. So this study of Spanish division one female players ranged between 18 to 26%. So again, a pretty high range. Keep in mind, females in general need higher fat for the body to function normally because if you do get under a certain body fat percentage, you, you may experience negative symptoms, which can include menstrual dysfunction. But for males as well, it can also have a negative impact for your hormones, right? So that's why a low body fat may not be the best thing. That's why whenever bodybuilders get under that 5%, right, they start feeling just groggy, like irritated, right? That is not healthy for the human body. Now, three common footballer mistakes. The first one is gonna be under eating. Under eating leads to malnutrition, which can cause unnecessary weight loss and loss of lean muscle mass, which can lower your performance. This is the same for females with the addition of negatively affecting normal hormone function like we talked about if a low body fat percentage is reached. A big one is a lack of carbs. So research shows us that uh, footballers are lacking in carbs. I'm hoping that by this time around, players know that they need to be intaking a lot of carbs. You guys will be surprised there are footballers that try to stay away from carbs as much as possible, but that is gonna be your number one energy source. Guys, I am not a registered nutritionist or a dietitian. All right, just always keep that in mind. To kind of conclude, I would rather a player have more carbs than less carbs for that performance function. Now, with that said, if you are under eating carbs, your body will look for energy elsewhere 
and it may get it from protein, which is going to reduce those muscle and lean tissue gains. Footballers are burning tons and tons of calories, so you need to be eating a lot. And for my hard gainers, you're just under eating. Trust me, I used to be a hard gainer. I was like 120 something pounds first year of college, and then I had to gain 20 pounds. And I did whenever I really started getting into a good meal plan, started tracking my calories. Second is going to be overeating. Trying to bulk and gaining weight too fast, leading to gaining too much fat, which then lowers your performance. I hear this so much. Players get on a bodybuilding split because they want to gain lean muscle. They don't know that if you still train like an athlete, you follow one of my training programs and you get on a caloric surplus, you will still gain lean tissue. And with that said, it's not going to be excess, right? Everything that you are doing in that program is going to be useful for that pitch, right? Instead of you doing 20 quad exercises, right? That's just burning the muscle. How do you know that everything is actually transferring to your game? If you train like an athlete and eat right, you can still gain very healthy weight. So check out my training programs, guys, in season and off season just for you. The third thing, not enough protein. Sometimes players think they're getting enough protein, but they're just not. Protein is not just to build those good looking muscles, but it's to repair the damage that you have done from all the gym work and all the footy that you're doing in team training. Typically the recommendations for an athlete, for a busy footballer is gonna be between 1.4 to 2 grams per kilo of body weights. Here are the further recommendations right here. Now guys, here's the awesome thing. You won't ever have to worry about any of this stuff right here because I have meal plans just for you guys. By the time you watch this video, the meal plans are going to be on my site, which is going to be right here, or it'll be the first link in the description box below. I love this plan. So like I said, I did partner up with a very good dietitian, sports dietitian that works with professional athletes. There are four tiers and depending on what category you are a middle school athlete. So for my parents out there that want their kids to be, to be eating healthy, whether you're a college footballer and need to gain a little bit of weight or a female footballer also needing to gain weight or even maintain weight guys, I have the four tiers and they're going to be very detailed on my website. So make sure that you check them out. And just because you made it through this whole video, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your continued support. And because you made it this far in this video, I want to give you a discount. I want to give you a 20% coupon guys. So if you want that, leave me your Instagram name right here. I'm going to search you and I'm going to send you a personalized DM with a specific a coupon code just for you so you can get 20% off again this is my thank you for making it throughout the whole video and supporting my contents so guys thank you so much for watching leave a like drop a comment subscribe for high quality content and I'll see you guys on the next one